Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you my new personal planner. So here's the planner. I got an A5 size and it comes with a lot of extra stuff. You get a ruler that you can use as a bookmark. You also get an elastic that you can attach to the cover so that you have a little closure. And then you get a clear folder, a top loading clear folder that you can take in and out. And you also get two pages of planner stickers. So the cover of the planner has this clear plastic protector sheet and then is the actual cover. So you can choose a photograph. I took this on my trip to Japan. Um, you can do a pre-made pattern or you can put a collage like I did on the back. There's really a lot of options. So here I'm just putting in the elastic to close the planner. You just slide it through these holes that are already punched into the back cover. So when the elastic is attached, it kind of makes the back of the planner not lie flat anymore. You can see here that it kind of has two little bumps from the metal parts on the elastic. Uh, that may not bother most people, but for me, I decided to just take the elastic off and see how I do without it, just so that my planner can lie flat. Here I'm just putting in the clear folder and you just press it onto the spiral rings. And then I'm using the ruler as a today marker. So let's check out the inside. The front page is blank, but you can add your name and address. There's a spot when you customize your planner to add a quote here or whatever you like. Um, I started my planner in August, so they give you a week prior to the month that you start with. So here's the monthly layout. It's just a classic monthly calendar. And you'll see that each month has its own color, which is pretty cool. There's a space on the side of the monthly calendar to put notes or to-dos. Then you get into the weeks. I chose the vertical layout. Uh, they also have a horizontal layout or boxes for the days. There's many different choices. You can also customize the bottom of this page with different trackers and graphs. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, you also have a little calendar showing you what week you're on. There's options to put lines into the days or leave them blank. Um, it also shows you the week here. As I'm flipping through, you can see how the layout looks. Mine's pretty simple, but you can add as many or as little things as you want into this planner. It's very customizable. You'll see here that each month has a colored tab and you can also add US holidays onto your calendar. That's what I did. You can also put custom calendar dates. I did not do that, but you could add in people's birthdays and things like that. In the back of my planner, I added the year overview. So I have 2016 and 2017 at a glance. I'm thinking that I'll use this as a type of future log. At the end of your planner, you can choose what you want to fill it up with. I just chose dot grid paper and lined paper, but they have many options, including things like Sudoku and coloring pages that you can add at the end of your planner. Okay, now time for the pen test. I'm testing out a few different pens here. Um, the Friction Ball Pen, a Stadlier Pigment Liner, a Copic multi-liner, um, a Tri-Plus fine liner, a Tombow dual brush pen, Crayola super tip marker, and also a Lamy Safari fountain pen. So here's where I was really impressed by this planner, you guys. This paper quality is unreal. As you can see, there's no ghosting, no bleed through, nothing. It just looks like a clean white page, which is awesome. I wanted to show you guys a comparison between this paper and the Leuchtturm notebook since those are so popular with bullet journalers. 
Um, as you can see, the color difference is pretty major. The Leugstrom is a cream white and the personal planner paper is a white white. Uh, aside from that, you can see the difference between the ghosting on these papers. The Leugstrom, you can see every single pen that I used and the personal planner, you really can't see any of them. Here's a size comparison for you guys with my Hobonichi, uh, my Traveler's Notebook in standard size, and my medium Leuchstrom Notebook. Alright you guys, that's it for this review. I'm really excited to start using this planner. The paper quality is awesome. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love reading them. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you can see new videos from me every week. And thank you to Personal Planner for sending me this awesome planner.